What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to find common factors and what that means. So let's waste no time, let's go. So first today we need to understand that factors are numbers that multiply together to equal the original number. So in this case we have two original numbers here, 12 and 32. But what does it mean by common? Well, common means that two numbers share the same factor. They have them in common. And then in today's lesson, we're actually going to build up to understanding how to find the greatest common factor, or the GCF for short. And greatest just means the biggest number. So let's jump into it and start to understand what this looks like. Now, when we're trying to find factors, it's very helpful to draw a factor tree. It looks a little bit like this. Let's take this 12. Our first factor pair will always be multiplying the number 1 by the number itself. Because 1 times 12 will always equal 12, which is our given number. But can we now think of a logical way to get our next factor pair? Well, we could try 2 times something. And 2 times 6 equals 12. So 2 and 6 are also factors. Now I could try the next logical step of 3. And I can do 3. And 3 works as well because I can do 3 times 4 equals 12. But now my next logical step would be 4. But look, I've already got a 4. And 4 times 3, I've already got a 3. So I don't need to do this step. Well, let's just press pause for a second. Are you a subscriber? If you're not, press that subscribe button. We have daily videos to help you with all of your math needs. So press subscribe. But for now, let's get back to the learning. So these are my factors of 12. I have six of them. I have the number 1, number 12, 2, 6, 3, and 4. So if I was only asked to find the factors of 12, I would have finished my question. But I'm not. I'm looking for common factors between 12 and 32. So now I need to find the factors of 32. And let's do exactly the same steps. I'm going to draw my factor tree. And I'm going to start with 1 times 32. 1 times 32 will equal 32. Now I'm going to check the number 2. And 2 can be multiplied by 16 to equal 32. But now when I check 3, I can't find a multiple that multiplies with 3 to equal 32. Because if I did 3 times 10, for example, that would be 30. But if I did 3 times 11, that would be 33. So it misses 32. So 3 doesn't work. Let's try 4. 4 multiplied by 8 equals 32. Now we can try 5. Well, 5 doesn't work because I can't multiply anything with 5 to get to 32, so 5 doesn't work. Let's try 6. And again, 6 doesn't work because it would be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and then 36, so it skips 32. 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, so 7 doesn't work. The next one would be 8. But look again, I've already used 8, so I don't need to do that one again. So these are my factors of 32. I have 1, 32, 2, 16, 4, and 8. So now that I've found my factors of each of them, let's try and find the ones that are in common, the ones that are the same in both. Well, I can see I have 1 in both. I have 2 in both and I have four in both sets of factors. So the common factors of these two numbers are one, two, and four. And you've guessed it, the greatest common factor, the biggest common factor would be four. Because four is the biggest number in our group of common factors. So that's how to find common factors. And for me, the most important thing is to originally start by drawing my factor tree of each number so that I can see the factors really clearly. Let's look at what to remember. 
Factors are numbers that multiply together to equal the given number. Or you could think of it as numbers that the given number divide by. And factors come in pairs. But when we're trying to find the common factors, we're looking for factors that are in both set. So your turn, here are two questions. Press pause on the video now and try and work out these answers. Question one, I'm looking for you to find the common factors of nine and 30. Question two is a little bit different. It says two factors of 18 add up to 11. What are they? So you're gonna to have to find the factors of 18 and then find two of them that equal 11 when added together. Okay, press pause on the video, try and work these out, put your answer in the comment section, good luck. And there you go, that is how to find common factors and the highest common factors. Hopefully this video has been useful, if it was, think about subscribing and sharing this video with a friend. But for now guys, see you in another video, peace out.